friends. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, we're here uh, to talk about uh, how sometimes a tree man's got to do what a tree man's got to do, and uh, that may involve uh, the occasional solo tree job. And uh, I myself uh, don't do solo tree work, but I mean. Uh, I've had to before. So there's certain folks out there that don't recommend it, but like I said, sometimes uh, an hombre's got to do what an hombre's hombre's got to do. So if you must, if you're one of them hombres, and you gotta fly it solo, then there is a uh, there's a certain uh, couple few steps that you should should at least be adhering to, you know, to make a make things easier on yourself and uh so yeah the following events that take place are a uh, a reenactment based on true events with a paid actor so uh but it's just kind of an example of what what some of that stuff would look like you know what i'm saying all righty roll the clip step one become obsessed and impulsed by a bunch of saws, climbing gear and shit. Half of which is probably smarter than you and the other half you won't use hardly at all. Yeah. Step two, become halfway decent at least at using said saws, climbing gear and shit. All right, like I said, not recommended, but this is just an example of what of what one would look like if you were to do it. If you were to do it, it'd maybe look like a little something like this, and maybe the homeowner would tell you that's old and don't even worry about that. And, and uh, maybe try and look out for some conifers is maybe what they would tell you. But uh, they would say, oh, we ain't too concerned about whatever else goes on here there ain't nothing else too much you can hurt some of them out there maybe you could come a little close to the house they might have to go up a little higher and take them a little smaller but uh that's just an example of what it would look like alrighty step three get your ass up there and start cutting it ain't gonna cut itself now Okay friends, so far so good. If we were to be doing a job, it'd be so far so good. So I think I'm gonna, I was gonna originally uh, hop over, do the pine first, but I think I'm gonna try, this limb looks a little difficult for me, so I'm gonna try and get this limb uh, taken care of first, work it back, and then hop into the pine, I think. And then get that out of the way, then gas up the saw and go back up and start, uh, Start uh, whittling some more.
The tail end of my rope has another zigzag attached to it, and I uh, tie in DRT, and uh, that allows me to return when I'm working the limb back uh, much easier. Back in the day, two zigzags used to mean something entirely different, friends, eh? Hey? All right. All right, we're gonna dismantle it, take it in three. A better man than I probably would have done it in one, but I just, there's a satellite dish. I didn't want to take no chances, so this has to come off in one, and, and then maybe I'll send that actually in two together, but I just had to, I didn't want to take a chance. All right, friends. <laughs> I'll take the 200 back up back up with me she does she's got some carb issues or something though boys she's a if you notice that on the ramp up maybe uh the low end i'm not sure she's just a little slow sometimes a little goofy but i think i'll, I'll run it but i got my the 201 if i need step four cut that fucker some more the people's favorite Tried and true go to step. you 
work the tree from the top there from the bottom to the top yes but i mean you got that shit out there and uh i would have had to do some crazy trickery now hopefully i got a better line of sight now from a tie-in point i can get out there because i think i got to take them in, in individual almost and i can access that shit there easier now i looked at it i weighed my options do i go out there fight get all the bottom stuff and then I thought, wait a minute, what would Buckin do? He'd fucking leave some blockers and shit down below him probably and bing, bang, bing, boom, send some shit down and then uh, then go down and get the blockers. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's get it. on a little secret YouTube this is my first time using pole gaffs ever using pole gaffs been using tree gaffs the whole time and I'm like wow what what the fuck I'm almost mad because like seems almost like a lot of time wasted I got two more cuts here YouTube what one here and I think a little uh, spear cut type of notch and send it situation there but really the whole purpose was of this little chat is the fact that a limb like this it's leaning it used to be my absolute kryptonite i'm not even I'm not even in my my climb line i used to always wonder how you guys got out on limbs like this like uh without a high tie in point DRT, that's why I DRT'd for so long because I could walk sideways up this limb and hoist with the other arm to keep tendon every step of the way. And now, pole gaps. The tree gaps were fucking, I could never get, I never felt right or comfortable. This is amazing. Fucking, I just been catapulted, like achievement unlocked. Next level shit, bros. Dude, pole gaps. If you got tree gaps, just throw them fuckers in the junk drawer and save them for a big big woolly mammoth pine or a willow tree one day get them get rid of them bitches i'm telling you <laughs> Sometimes you got to know when to step forward and when not to step forward. Young bucks can get themselves into trouble. You see here at one point it looked like she might have set back a little. Maybe I misjudged the lean. You gotta be careful when you get into trouble. Leave some holding wood. Don't just keep step forward. That's how people, trees fall over backwards in their lap. Oh, see she's starting to go. Alright, step forward. Get it. Oh, we've jumped the creek, so... <laughs> Damn, I'm creek. good. Alrighty, I'm coming down. Gonna send it. Step five. Don't be afraid to ask for help now. You've proved your point. Don't be a dumbass. Now, sometimes that might involve 
asking the homeowner for help, or in this here case, asking the homeowner's son, the hombre that's been running the skid steer and doing all the brush chipping. Maybe, maybe let's say it's a 80 year old grandma and you're up there solo rigging and now you're like, shit, I gotta come down and untie that piece. Don't be afraid to ask grandma to get her ass out the house and come out there and untie that shit so you can rig down the next one. Have her load the log on her walker. Fucking, she can scoot it on out to the driveway for you. Pick it up easier. I mean, come on now. You want the tree down or not? Help me help you, grandma. Just an example. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You ain't always got to be Superman now. Come on. All right. That's an example of reenactment based on true events of what a solo job might look like if you were to do one. But again, we talked about earlier that they weren't recommended. And nobody ever talked about the, the homeowner providing their own ground worker and chipper and uh, skid steer. Does that make it any less uh, solo in the tree? I don't think so. Right? So there's a good beefy. I got to find out what they want with this stump here, but we won't show that cutting whether that's how they want it or I cut it lower. But anywho. There she was. Woo! Tag it and bag it. Yeah, the old skidster's uh, bringing up the last piece of wood right now. <sighs> reenacting. He's reenacting what it would have looked like had someone done a job. Kind of like the woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. You know what I'm saying? There's some... Um, some of that impulse bot and stuff, you know, a bunch of shit you don't need. A bunch of shit you don't even need. Gear that's that's smarter than I am. Tell you what, I'm just a dumb, dumb hombre. Just cut, cut trees is all. Dog old dang old do. Dang old do. Oh. Break down the old six shooter. Start loading up some of this shit. Oh, oh my god, the fucking pole gaffs. I, I don't even know. I can't even say enough about them. Probably a lot of you guys are like, what the fuck you mean you ain't been climbing on pole gaffs the whole time? Where the hell you been? I don't know, living under a rock or some shit. I guess. But hey, better. I guess better late than never totally oh my god all the struggles all the times i struggled i think back and oh oh like a shaky shaky legged cat or something like oh fuck it's so i can't oh i'm gonna slip and then fucking feel like i'm spider-man now attached i could go anywhere damn near oh oh my god and the quickie quickie she worked good she uh holy shit the quickie yeah that saved the day today canopy anchor and spar tying just like we said See, we don't, we're not just a fucking hypocrite here, you know, so I know you thought, but we, we do the shit, we do the shit. So there you have, uh, uh, what an example of, uh, what a solo job would and could look like had one took place, but, uh, you know, based on true events, those things, uh, they, they do happen, but they're, like I said, they don't, people, some people don't Which recommend them. For peace, butter, milk, crispy, tender, large, yeah. coke, medium, fried, have that scan. This QR code, it. that first window. <clears throat> this is why, thanks. And they, uh, <clears throat> it's not too often.
fucking, uh, god damn it, what the fuck, it's not too often, uh, I think that was the first, that was the first, uh, reenactment of a solo job too, where a homeowner actually had their own, uh, skid steer, and, uh, loner chipper to use that shit that yeah that's never happened uh that i can think of never never really i don't yeah don't think that's uh that's so that was a bonus that would have been a bonus day had it okay well thanks everyone i hope uh, you enjoyed <sighs> you enjoyed those <clears throat> shenanigans Tired from watching that, uh, <laughs> uh, tired from watching that reenactment.